Hello everyone, I'm Morton's Castle and this is going to be a quick uh, like 10 thing video to help you get started with Lunar Magic if you're interested in making your own Super Mario World ROM hack. Um, which is what I'm doing right now because I'm really hyped for Mario Maker 2 and I can't wait to make my own levels. Um, so I'm going to show you some quick 10 things. Um, but this is beginner beginner stuff so like that object, the, the ground thing lets you move the objects and the shell lets you move sprites. And that's just simple basics but I'm, uh, that's not part of the 10 things. The first thing that I really want to show you is called Map 16 and it is like one of the most important things to do because it lets you make your own blocks um, and customize the blocks that are already there to make trolls or make level gimmicks that aren't in the base game and it's pretty much one of the most important things you can do and helping it will help you a lot. So this is like a block and then um, this is the Map 16 but you'll notice that each thing is broken down into four small little chunks so by clicking that block up there you can see the four little chunks of it by, by clicking the other one you can click the whole block and then you'll see the act as principle is 117 and that means that it's a turn block with a flower inside so you can apply the 117 to anything and then it'll act like a that block even though it isn't so you can like here you can see all of the the sprites and all of the act as for example munchers or access 12f so you can put 12f on anything like a block for example as I'm gonna do here um, and then if you place that into your level with the right click um, that block will kill you if you touch it and you can apply that to the moon you can apply that to a pipe um, so yeah that's how you would do a troll or something um, but you, you can do so much more like you can make other things be a pipe you can make you can turn things into doors um, this is just an example of what you can do and then if you are interested how you make a, a muncher you just take the muncher you right click it down into the free space in the map 16 and then you hit flip Y and that's all you got to do and now bam you've created a new damaging tile basically and that's how you make like a tight Kaiser jump right there on a move Mario as so you can see him and then you always want to save the max map 16 but you can also do some little gimmicks um, like I did this but I cut it out because it took a little while but you can create little details like a little block in the ground and all you gotta do is you just gotta play around with the different ground tiles and the edges and you can put ground like blocks underground you can do all sorts of things with it um, and this is just to get you started um, and then for example you can also take water flip water on its head and put it underneath it um, and then you get like this little stream of water and then if you go into the object window window uh, <laughs> a mace window and you get some pipes and then you can put pipes on either side of it and it looks like the water is going through the pipes um, and I think in the hack Invictus did this and then I think other hacks do it too um, but the, the possibilities with map 16 are endless so it's definitely something you should know the next super important thing is sprites and here in the first level you got like the bands of bills and the rexes and whatnot um, and then you click the little blue Yoshi and you see all the available sprites that you have within your level um, and sprites are super important because you got not just enemies, but you also have platforms in Mario World. Um, so if you click on a ver any various sprite, and make it a little bit bigger, but like you click on a platform like this one, it shows you that the SP4 value is 20, and that's shared by the Mega Mole, the Rex, and the Bands I Bill. So when you change the sprite memory, anything that has SP4 or 20 has those sprites, right? So you click on the red mushroom up there, the red poison mushroom, and then this is like your graphics and your sprite bypasses. So when you come up here, you see the SP3 and the SP4, and when you enable the bypass of these numbers, you can change them. And when you change them, like I think 12 is a castle one, um, we should get dry bones now that we change this, right? So when you did that, we lost charging chucks, because you can't have charging chucks and dry bones, right? I mean, you might be able to with a different combination, but the combinations that you're changing is that we lost charging chucks, but now we gained these sprites. Um, but we still have the bands up built because we didn't change SP4. We only changed SP3, which is so you can get lots of various combinations. But if we change it back, now the sprites that we added look really messed up, and you don't want your hack to look like that. So we we want to get rid of those. Um, but we can change the SP4 value as well. You you can just tamper with it and see like which ones work, which ones don't. Um, and come up with lots of various combinations and I'll show you how you figure out which numbers apply to which sprites. I think it's really important to have a list of level numbers because you're going to be editing various numbers um, and I use this list online and I will link the uh, list I use in the description but I'm sure you can find other sources 
but this is a list of like every level in the game. Um, and like I said, this would be really useful in figuring out which sprites apply to which number. So if you wanted to like find what it's in a castle or what's in like a peace witch palace, you can just go to those existing levels, click on the sprites and figure out which ones are which. And then that'll also help you figure out backgrounds, which you change very similarly to the sprite memories um, in, the, in the graphics bypass. But basically, um, if we wanted torpedoes, we would see that uh, Stoya Lake is at level 11, right? So if we go back into our uh, Lunar Magic, you would click on File, and then you hit Open Level Number, and this is where you could go to any of those levels that's on that list. But we want to go to Soda Lake, which is level 11, which we found on that list. And here we can see the, uh, the various sprites in this uh, tile set, right? You got the Torpedo Launcher, you got the, the various torpedoes, and that's SP406. So if we want torpedoes in our level, we're going to have to go uh, to the Graphics Bypass and change SP4 to 6. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to level 105, which is uh, the first level of the game and where you start out in Learn Magic. And we're going to change SP4 this time to uh, 6, which is what we found in the other level. And like I said, you can go to castle levels. You could go to uh, like Donut Plains, uh, like level 15 has the Super Koopas. Uh, so you just go to the various levels to see which, which sprites are there. And then using that knowledge, you can help change the levels that you have so now we have a torpedo ted in our level and that's pretty cool but it did uh, kind of gargle the other sprites <laughs> uh, and that will happen so you're gonna have to just work around that vertical levels are one of the most anticipated features of mario maker 2 uh, we don't know if we got them yet but it looks really likely but you can make vertical levels in lunar magic and it's really easy so that's the next uh fundamental important thing that i think a beginner should know how to do in case you want to do so we click on the mario head and this pulls up like the snes registers and level modes and like these numbers basically affect what kind of level you're making um you can see the different values like it says like the max screen numbers and like the spray layers and all this information basically but it does tell you that's a horizontal level and i know that uh zero a is a vertical level that works well so you change it to that and now it does say that the layout is vertical um it tells you other information as well but now, when you change it, it starts you at the very top, but it does go vertically. Um, and the way this level was built, I don't think you'd actually be able to go down. But it is a vertical level, and it goes down for quite a way. Like, vertical levels can be really tall. Um, and you can, just, you can move around Mario's entrance um, by clicking on the sprite thing again. Um, so you can place them at the bottom and work your way up, or you can start at the, the top and work your way down. And that's something cool about vertical levels. Um, and you can just play around with it, but there is like some weird screen wrapping stuff that you're gonna want to try and avoid. But you can just play around with these SNES uh, registers mode. Uh, for example, this one it tells you that it's a vertical level, but it says do not use it. So I, I zero A is way better. Um, but yeah, zero zero is just like kind of like the plain generic one, and it's safe to mess around with because obviously I just changed it back, and everything is still fine. Uh, so for this next thing, I'm gonna go to the Switch Palace. Um, level 14 is the yellow switch palace, but it's looking kind of blue, right? So if you click on this like little blue star up at the very top, this is the palette editor and will allow you to change every color basically in the game. Um, but if you're messing around with this, I would highly recommend that you hit enable uh, custom level palette. Um, uh, because if you don't, when you change one color here, it'll be changed for the entire game and not just this level. But by clicking that, it, the color changes that you do will only apply to this level. So we're changing the blue to yellow here, and then by doing this, the yellow switch palace looks a lot more yellow. And this is something that I'm actually going to do in my own hack, um, and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the red switch palaces. But you can take this uh, general idea of changing colors uh, just very generally. Like you can change the back area color. So if we want it to be more of like a sunset. We can change it, change it to a red. Uh, you got to play it around because some colors like that look really ugly. Other ones look more passable, but still bad. Um, but you can also change the foreground palettes from the existing ones that are already in the game. And I'm just gonna go with this one because it's it's not the original one, but it looks all right with the background color that I've changed. Um, and by changing colors, you can change the color of shells. You can change the color of Yoshi. Like uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. Change the color of pipes, etc. This next feature. Um, I wouldn't say isn't as important as some of the other ones. Like I definitely say that color palettes and maps you've seen are super essential, but this little blue weird icon up at the top is layer three. 
I'm gonna tell you add stuff like water. Like remember the level in the game that had like the tide that was like going high and low. So layer three is how you do that. Um, but it can be kind of weird and it like affects other sprites. You have to turn on like sprite buoyancy, which is like another thing. But each level um, has like a different layer three option, and you can change that. Uh, I think through the like the level mode that I was talking about earlier. Um, I think this is something that you can change, but each level has an existing one, um, and most of the ground ones, are, it's just water. But if you go to something like a boo house, um, and one of the boo houses is level 13, so I'm just gonna go to that real quick. Um, boo houses have a different one, and instead of water, they have mist. Um, so if you put it, you'll see the mist, and that's in some of the levels in the game. And you can change it, like you can override it so the mist is in front of all the sprites, or it's behind it. Um, and then castles have a different layer three, so you just have to play around with the different levels and see what their layer threes are. But it's another um, kind of like aesthetic thing that you can add to your levels in addition to map 16 and color palettes. I'm gonna go up here to edit and hit delete all to basically get rid of all the levels. And when making new levels, I'd recommend that you do do this. Um, but I'm just gonna take this boo house and get rid of all the doors because you know boo houses have all the doors And I'm gonna show you how to make your own doors and exit enabled things like pipes and whatnot So I'm just gonna make a little platform to Mario for Mario to stand on um, Because he's gonna need something to stand on to get in the door, but basically um, Anything that is exit enabled like some pipes they exit enabled and then other things like doors um, when you do this, you have to set where they go, and it is completely unlike Mario Maker. Um, if you go up to the top and you hit that blue door icon, this is to show you the screen boundaries. So if you see from blue line to blue line, that is a single screen. And exit enabled objects are set to which screen they are in. So if you have two doors in the same screen, they're going to go the exact same place. So even if you have like the doors like right next to each other, but one's on one screen and one's on the other, as I have set up right here, they'll go to different places. But if that other door was just like two blocks over, the doors would go to the same place because they're set by screen. So um, I'm gonna have to re-explain re this because I'm talking a little bit too fast, but the f um, <laughs> this is zero zero and this is zero one. So you click on the first door and this is how you set your screen exits. So it's set to, so it's, um, there's zero, right? And then we want the first door to go to level one or five. So that would happen. And I'm gonna show you again here. You click on this, but instead of this, we wanna go to screen exit one, which is screen one. And then we change it to 15, which is switch balance, because I wanna showcase you various things. And I know this was a little bit fast, so I think I'm gonna talk through it one more time. But over here, this is 10. So if we wanna, if we had a door and screen 10, we would hit this go down to 10 and then put in whatever level name or subworld that we want to go. So it's just as simple as clicking on um, the screen number and then typing in the level that you want to go to. All right, so now that we have set up our like everything that we're going to show you, we actually need to show it if we actually emulate the game. So if you click on the castle icon up there, this brings up the overworld and it looks very daunting. And overworld stuff is super complicated. But hit view and then hit show level numbers. Um, and this is some of the more simple stuff and will help you access your own levels. If you hit the green path button, it shows you Mario Fast. And if you hit the first house, it'll let you click on the various tiles that act as levels. And then you can change them by clicking on the yellow dot up here next to the castle. So this brings up this menu, which has lots of stuff, but if you click on the first thing and you change the number in there, it'll change it to what level you go into. Because the boo house we made is level 13, I'm gonna change the one of the first levels you can access into level 13, so I can actually show you those doors in action. Um, but you can change any level number to anything you want. So this tutorial hack is almost done, but there's a few things that you might want to also change that I'm going to show you that are really easy and that beginners can do without too much craziness going on. So if you hit the message block button while on the overworld, this button right up here next to the castle on the red dot, you can change the messages. And message 000 is the message that starts when you first load up the game. You know, it's like Bowser's kidnapped the princess, you know, you start in the game. So you can type in whatever you want to say, like you can be like, Here's my hack, you know, you can, I'm, I'm just going to say subscribe because I'm a YouTuber and it's obligatory. It's kind of a meme, but Lunar Magic tutorial, right? But here you can uh, type in the message box for whatever level you have. Um, so one of the levels we had was level 105 and it's just like the first level. 
almost everyone's gonna have a level 105 because it's super easy to access. But down here, uh, you can just change it to say whatever you want. You can just be like, this is a message block. You could say like, fuck you for playing my hack. You could say, I like chocolate. I don't know. You could just say whatever you want. And that's how you do that. Super simple, super easy. And you can have some funny moments by doing that. This last thing is super simple, but I think it is essential when you're making your own hack because you don't want to have your levels be called Yoshi's Island 1, right? So if you click the red dot next to the message block I just showed you, this is where you can change the level names. And if you make a cool level, you want to have it with the name that you want to have it. So this is super important. It's so level 105, the level we made. I'm just going to rename it to Map 16 Shenanigans just to show you that you can rename the levels. And Map 16 was something that I showed you earlier uh, to help detail your levels and make new blocks, basically. We're going to change Yoshi's House to Yoshi's Crib to show this thing. Um, and then I'm going to hop into the hack and show you that all these changes worked. All right, we're here in the hack. Um, haven't changed anything else, so it's, it's going to look a lot normal. Uh, I only changed what I did in the video. But here's the new message block. So if you want to make your own hack, you just go to that message zero zero, say whatever you want to say. When you go into the uh, the, the game, that's what it will say. And that, that's pretty cool. Um, Mario games don't have a lot of plot, but whatever plot you do want to have in your hack, you can do there. Now we're in Yoshi's Crib. That's pretty sweet. Now we have Map 16 Shenanigans, and we'll go in, and we can see the background change that we added. We can see the water that we added. And then we have the upside down muncher, which I'm going to have to do a tight jump to get through. We can see our cool water detail. And then because we did change the sprite memory, some of the existing sprites on the level, like the Rex, it just looked super jank. But we have that block in the water right there, or block on the ground, I should say, um, that we use with Map 16. And there's our torpedo that we added by changing the sprite memory around. So that's really cool. Um, but we just make sure that when you change the sprite memories, you get rid of all the, the jumbled up gargled sprites of the other ones that were already there. Um, and that's just another reason to say that you should just hit delete all before you start a new level sometimes. Uh, but here's our ghost house. The first door is on screen zero. should take us to 105. And we were just there. And that's exactly what it does. Um, so that's pretty simple. And then we're going to go back in and then show you the other door, which is on screen one, which we linked to level 14, I believe, um, which is the yellow switch palace. And we actually made it yellow using the color palette. Um, so these are just a bunch of small, really easy things that beginners to Lunar Magic can do without some of the crazier stuff, um, because there is some crazier stuff you can do. But this is just some of the simplest stuff that will help you make cool, unique levels um, without having to do too much. Um, so it's really cool, and I hope that it helped you. Um, I know Lunar Magic can be confusing sometimes, um, but I've learned a lot through other tutorials, and I um, thought I could help you uh, with, some, with my own tutorial and like a little small collection of some of the most helpful things that I, I think are the most helpful when making my own hack because I'm making my own hack. It's super fun, and I'm going to share more with it, you with more of it with you guys in the coming weeks um, because it's really hype, um, and I hope that some of you will want to play it when it's done. Um, but I've been Warren's Castle. Thank you for watching.